Legends, welcome back to the latest edition of the Mission Possible video series. This was a special request as in providing an update to the Garden Multifactor video number one. Here we are with Multifactor video number two. Let's engage. Now, we already know that in the garden, you have the ability to earn up to 3% per day of your investment. I'm not going to go into the back story of why the mastermind for Shark created the minor game. You can get that probably. I think I talked about that in the original video. Let's engage. Okay, mission in brief. Exactly what type of protocol is the Drip Garden? We're going to go over the Drip Garden tokenomics, the Drip Garden nomenclature, strategies, COPs. COPs are circles of prosperity. Notes legend and wallet scenarios we're going to have multi versus the solo wallet technically that is three choices no wallet a single wallet or multiple wallets compounding ooh, i did a com compounding scenario ooh, you know how the legends you know how we got to do we always got to be exceptional and be no excuse me we always have to be legendary in whatever we do and of course the final notes all right the chip garden lp garden produces 3% a day, according to the current mining efficiency rate. The, high, the harvest efficiency rate rises and falls as you and the other players buy the plants, harvest the seeds, and compound your earnings. First time I'm going to say this, the drip garden is a minor game. I'm going to say that throughout the video because people seem to forget. Like, oh man, it's going down, oh, it's doing this. It's a game. You have to remember that you're playing a game. It's you against the other 35,000 drip members that have a garden as well. It's your farm against their, excuse me, your garden against their garden. It's just that simple. The object of the game is to plant seeds sooner and more often than the other players. This in turn earns you more seeds to harvest faster, buying you more plants using your daily seed harvest will 3x your seeds within 30 days or less. That's why I based the scenario on, on compounding for 30 days. You can do 15 days, you can do 5 days, You can it's, that's totally up to you. Or you can do it longer, but it's always about your ROI. Now, tokenomics. The Garden Game helps to decentralize and deepen the drip BUSD liquidity pool on PancakeSwap due to the stablecoin liquidity which is the BUSD part, which aids in the stability of the DRIP network. Factor number one, a contract balance multiplier and a time multiplier has been added by the mastermind. Why is this important? It's the fact that it makes it fair to everyone, not just us legends, to everyone, no matter when you decide to enter the game, whether you came in on day one of the garden or today, whenever you're listening to this video and viewing the video. The Drip Garden is truly a fair game where all players start relatively equal. The driving factor to determine your payout is often is how often you compound your plants and seed versus how often I sell or harvest my seeds the same as you. It's still best to get in early and compound as much as possible to grow your garden as big as possible. And and depending on when you're listening to the video, we've went from LPs being valued at $35 to LPs being under $2. So this and the legends know while it was down in the two digits, you know, $2 and under, the time was then to build. Because, and that's another point that a lot of folks seem to get and straight from the mastermind. When you plant a garden, you are hedging the bet that drip price will go up. Those are two factors that you have to understand. Number one, it's a game. Two, you're betting that the drip price is going to increase. And right now, currently when I'm making this video, the drip price is $0.32. Cent. The high for drip was $197. So yes, I'm betting that it's going to go up. Let's go. Okay. Now, the time multiplier increases all new capital buying a power by 0.1% each and every day. So if you put a dollar in today, tomorrow you can get more seeds tomorrow. So say today you put a dollar, you get 
10 seeds. You put it in tomorrow, you might get 11 seeds and so on and so on and so on, which is great for the new investor and the new game players. Now, the nomenclature. This is the new drip garden UI. Fertilizer bonus. We're going to start on the left over here. Fertilizer bonus. This is based on your time, compounding, and the number of players in the game. The time increases 0.1% per day. You can look it up. It started at 0.1% when we started way, way, way back. And now we're at 294.29% at, at the time of the video. Now, when you're looking at the video, if it's not the next day, it's going to probably be in the, almost in the 300s plus. The balance, it increases with the total contract balance value. It stops when the contract balance stops appreciating and stays stable when the contract balance drops. And the total is time plus the balance. Now we're moving to the right. Plants grown. This is the total grown plants that produce your seeds. Seeds available. These are the seeds that you could take out and sell and put the, the and do whatever you want to do with the LPs and put the money in your pocket. The seeds available value is the value of those seeds. So you can see up here, it says seeds available. Ooh, 30 billion, what, 340 billion, 679 million, 832,000, no, excuse me, 340 trillion, 679 billion, 832 million, 607,116. So that value would be here, and that would be, it's like 1.4 LP, so that's like $2.25, give or take. Next the seeds per day that's the amount of seeds that i earn each day right here two that's that's got to be like quadrillion because that's hundred thousands that's millions billions trillions yeah that's like quadrillions <laughs> that's a lot of seeds a day now of course you have the plant seed button so if you come in you say hey i have this much right here the 1.49 lps you hit plant it's going to automatically take those plants and replant them into your garden. You say, no, 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 no. I want to sell my seed. You just click sell your seeds. It's going to claim your profit, send it to your wallet. Well, remember, it won't go to your wallet directly because it's an LP. It's going to show up in Pancake Swap. Well, it, no, it'll show in your wallet if you, yeah, it'll show in your wallet if you have the Robbie wallet because it's going to be as an LP, then you're going to have to go into Pancake Swap and break it apart or do whatever you're going to do with it. And of course, to buy plants here, you say how you're going to have to go out to the Liberation and purchase your plants. You always want to lose, use the Liberation due to the fact you don't have to worry about any taxes. All right, strategies. Now it's time to strategize. Your initial deposit, that's the number of LPs or plants that you're going to start with that you're going to daily. Hydration time, minimum six months it could be 30 days it's totally up to you this is this is your game claim and hydrate ratio claim two two times a week hydrate five times you can claim once a week and hydrate six times it's, that's totally up to you the minimum sale price the minimum sale price for the seeds is a dollar you have to determine the minimum sale price so say you're going to sell your lp well i'm not going to sell the lps if it's under four dollars lp then you're going to hydrate and hydrate and compound, 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 plant, replant, replant, replant until you decide it's time. Same thing with the drip price. Daily income goal for this are scenarios. You can, you just, or for your particular scenario, you're going to set your goal. Well, my uh, L7, my goal is blank, blank, blank per wallet per day. And then, of course, the number of gardens. You can have one, multiple, or none. And again, Remember, this is a game. This is a game. Okay. Different strategies and COPs. Option number one, you could place the LPs into the drip BUSD farm to earn some pigs, which in turn earns you BUSD. You could split the LPs and put some into the faucet and the BUSD into the pig pen. You know what? I'm going to add a slide with better COPs so you can have a visual. Bam. There we go. Okay, so you're in the garden. You say, well, L7, I'm going to take the LPs out. So you take your LPs out, which is the drip and the BUSD. First option, you can take the drip portion, put it straight into the faucet. 
there you go. Then once you decide to start claiming out of the garden, excuse me, out of the faucet, you can take it and recycle some of that funds back into your garden to keep your garden increasing. Option two. Now, at the time of the making of the video, the mastermind and the team are in development of a new place for the use of the drip BUSD LPs instead of the farm because we're switching to pancake swap version three and the mastermind is devising a new place to put our LPs in order to gain some dividends. So at the time when you watch the video, stay tuned for it. It's coming. And as soon as it comes, I'll make sure that I'll do a, a, um, a MSU, a status update, mission status update, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Option three, you could take your split. So since you split them, you can take the drip, of course, put it into the faucet, take your BUSD, say, hey, let me buy some dogs. Hey, let me get some pigs. So if you purchase some dogs, you can put them into the dog pound. Then you're going to earn. So if you go into the linear pool, you earn B and B. You can take that B and B and move it over to the farms and you can farm for some dogs. There's so many different options. Then you can take that BUSD and say, I want to purchase some pigs. You can convert it, purchase some pigs, put the pigs into the pig pen. Then from the pig pen, you're going to earn a certain amount of BUSD every day. And you could take that same BUSD. You could say, hey, I'm earning $50 of BNB every day. I'm going to take $25, put it into my wallet, into my pocket. And then I'm going to take the other $25 and go play. And when I say have fun here, we got Piggy Plinko coming, DDD, Drip Job Draw, Drip 21, which is playing 21 with the Drip tokens and the game. And then you have the game suite. Whatever you want to do to have fun, because you, you want to have fun. Making the money and just keep cir circulating is not going to be fun. You want to take some profit and then you want to take some and reinvest it to make in even more money on your passive income journey. All right. Some notes here. <sighs> I guess this is number three, along with drip is a game. <laughs> I can't remember what number two was that um, I can't remember number two. If the seeds hold the value in the garden, not the plants. I don't know how many times I've said it, how many times the other drip tubers have said it, how many times the mastermind has said it. I know he gets frustrated because he has to repeat himself. Oh, how much of the plants? I want to sell my plants. You can't sell your plants. The seeds is what holds the value, period. Always purchase your LP tokens through the drip liberation contract or smart contract because it's tax free the drip garden is a game there is this is high risk high reward he or she who compounds the most wins the garden was created to be the most fair miner in existence there is still today there is no fair more fair miner than our miner built the way it is thanks to the mastermind the garden is still fair no matter when you get in all the other miners <laughs> do not operate that way. All of them. Did I say it? All of them. The garden supports the pancake swap drip liquidity pool. Getting in early, of course, is best. Grow as large as a garden as possible. Now, when you have multiple gardens, it allows you to pull from each garden a fewer times each week. Example, if you have seven gardens, you can harvest once a week from each garden. It's, it's just that simple. Legends already understand. Now, we're going to go into some scenarios here. So the II is the initial investment. The number LP, of course, is the number of LPs that was purchased that day. Number of P, the pound sign P, is the number of plants that was purchased through those LPs. Seeds per day, plants per day, and your daily income. Now, scenario number one. We're going to do seven gardens. So you say, L7, I have $700. I'm going to have, I want seven gardens. So I can pull on garden one will be pulled on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's the simplest explanation and scenario to use for them, especially for the multis. Now, so with that $100, we're going to put it into each of the seven gardens. So that $100, as of today, when I created the video, it may not be the same now. 
out of that $100, bought 50.69 LP tokens. Now, from the 50.69 LP tokens, that purchased me 5 billion, not thousands, not hundreds of thousands, not millions, but 5 billion, 879 million, 236,000 plants. Now, the legends that's been in the game for a while, no, it was not like that in the beginning. Oh my, oh shoot, for $700, you barely got one plant. <laughs> back in the beginning especially when they were $35 you might have got two plants it was expensive back in the beginning anyhow and the this is the amount of seeds per day exponent at 14 I'm not gonna because it's in quadrillion so I'm not gonna do that number and it's gonna produce you 195 million 974 plants per day now from your first garden or each of the, the gardens you're gonna get two point one two lps a day at the current price today when i'm creating the video they're a dollar 97 per lp so that's going to give you four dollars and 17 cent per day per garden now we're going to increase ten dollars so now the price is we went from 197 to ten dollars 97 cent so that same 2.12 lps a day now is earning you 23 dollars and 25 cents a day but wait it got better Garden LP price went from $197 to $20.97. Now you're getting $44.45 per day per garden. So, and remember that almost each, each time you claim out of the garden, depending on if the price is increasing or decreasing or stable, it's going to increase. So if the price st stabilized, say this price stabilized at $20, but at $21 and it never goes anywhere, it never goes back up. It just stays at $21. Each week, your income should be increasing a small bit because six days of that week, you're hydrating. So you're going to have more LPs that next time when you go to claim. All right, let's move on. Now, so we saw there the gardens one through seven. The initial investment was $100. We got 50.69 LPs, which... We received 5,879,236,727 plants. Then you have to divide that by 30. That gave us the 195,974,557 plants that we earned per day. And we see the seeds per day. And we see the income there. So then I we expanded a little bit. We said, okay, L7, I got in on the first of the month. Now, I'm going to hydrate until the 15th of the month. So, now we went to the 15th of the month. And the same 50.69 LPs increased our plants to 8,818,855,082. So, that's how many plants we have on that 15th day. And at the same note, we've increased our LPs by one. So now instead of getting four dollars and seven, oh, excuse me, two dollars and two dollars, two point one two LPs per day, we're getting three point one seven LPs per day. Then we said, no, 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 L seven. You said we were going to do thirty days minimum. Okay, but wait. So we got in on the first of the month with our hundred dollars. We still got the fifty point six nine, but we didn't do any taking out no claiming no selling seeds no harvesting we were just a good gardener and we just kept taking the seeds and planting them taking the seeds and planting them every day for 30 days so then what happened at the end of the 30 days we had 11 billion 758 million 473 thousand plants that's a lot of plants now with that same amount of plants at that time we increased we doubled our lps per day so now we are receiving 4.25 lps per day now look at our income so if our scenario played out the way we would like to we're just going to stay with the middle so we're going to earn 4.25 lps per day at ten dollars and 97 cents a day that's 46 dollars and 62 cents per day per garden yes 
per garden. So that's almost $50 per garden. Times seven, that's $350 a day. Legends, are you comprehending what I'm saying? I don't I don't think so. So at $350 times 30 days, we're talking ten thousand dollars a month from your gardens. But wait, you have to remember that this is a game. He who he or she legend who plants the most in compounds wins the game. Let's go. Okay, so here we are. So we use the scenario. Which scenario did we use? We used the, we used the mid scenario here, the thirty four dollars and seventy seven cent. So we got the thirty seven cent. Whoa, it's at ten dollars, and we used the mid scenario. We hydrated for fifteen days, and we're earning the thirty seven dollar thirty four dollars and seventy seven cent. So at thirty seven dollars and seventy seven cent times seven wallets. That equals $264 a day times 30 days equals $7,931. So the scenario here is from per wallet, $34 a day per wallet will give you monthly income of $1,043. Or you take the sum total of all seven wallets that will give you a grand total of $7,931. Legends, that's a lot of money from your garden. This has nothing to do with the farms. This has nothing to do with the pools. Well, we won't have the pools no more, but this won't have nothing to do with the piggy bank. This won't have nothing to do with the dog pound. This won't have nothing to do with the pig pen. This doesn't even have anything to do with the faucet. This is strictly from your gardens. For you being a perfect green thumb gardener, this is your income that you're producing. So on Monday, you go to your garden, you do your claim, you, for the har you're going to harvest your seeds, you pull out $35. On Tuesday, you go to garden. So now on Tuesday comes, you're going to hydrate garden one and claim on garden two. On Wednesday, you're going to hydrate garden one, hydrate garden two, claim garden three so then here it is on sunday you're going to hydrate garden one two three four five six and you're going to harvest garden seven Ooh, but wait we ain't even get to the good stuff yet now you have your objective is to enact your protocol six one five two that's not totally up to you how you want to harvest your seeds six and one for me and the legends that's what works best for us. It depends on what your goal is. If you need to do three, now some of the legends were saying that they were going to just claim all of them for one week on the same day and then hydrate the rest of the days. It's totally up to you. You have to do what's best for you, your family, and your family's finances. Then the garden, remember the gardens are going to grow as needed with each and every compound. So whatever day you, you claim, all the next six days, they're going to just grow, 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 and grow. Because you want to maintain your ROI, which is your 3% per day. And again, remember this is a game. And the above LP, now these LPs was based on the purchase price of $1.97. Of course, we're saying that when it was time to cash out on the 15th day, it was $10.97. So again, that point of you're hedging the bet, like the mastermind said, that drip is going to go up in price. So like I said, the current drip price of the making of this video is $0.32. Cent. So if it's at $1, $3, $4, $5, oh my goodness, it, it's, it's going to just blow <laughs> the LP price out the water. The, the LPs will be a lot more than $1.97, especially when drip is at 32 cent. That's how significant and powerful the garden is. And a lot of people slept on the garden. None of the legends did. The legends we already know because we've known about this. We've talked about this discussion last April of 2022. So not sure when you're watching this video, but the legends already know. And in the meantime, we've been out there with our green thumb. Shoot, our fingers are stained green because we've been in there gardening and building our garden. Man, we, the miracle grow, there's no, no extra miracle grow out there. Let's continue. 
Okay, so and then here's the comparison of seven gardens in one garden. Totally up to you. Seven gardens, each producing $100 each, and all the scenarios, all the numbers are the same. Then you have one big garden. <laughs> you, you're going to just take that whole $700. You're going to get 355 LPs. You're going to get 42 billion plants instead of 5 billion because you put them all together. And you're going to get, you're going to earn 1 billion, 400 million, 195,656 plants per day. And then, of course, the value of your money because you only have one big garden. So instead of $4.17 per day per garden, you're going to earn just almost $30 per day. That's the only difference. It's just it's it's really up to you. I did the same thing and had just one piggy bank because I at first I had multiple piggy banks. That was not it for me. It just drove me crazy because you had to go in at the right time. No, 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 no. I can't do that so it's totally up to you. You do what's best for you. Okay, compounding. Now, everybody has heard of compounding and hypercompounding. The legends know of the super compounding. And it cuz it's it's like compounding on steroids. We're going to see. Compounding, regular everyday compounding that's just going in and hitting your button that says plant the seeds whatever you earned overnight. The minimum, you want to do that at least daily. Like I said, you're in the competition with the other 35,000. I think it might even be more than that by the time you're reading. It might almost be closer to 40,000 other gardeners out there. Go to the garden, click the plant seed button. This will plant the seeds that you have earned since the last gardening time. Like I said, you want to do that at the minimum. Minimum, minimum, minimum is once a day. When you don't do it daily, the other players are getting on you. They're gaining on you. Then you have the hyper compounding. Now with the hyper compounding, you go to the garden. The first thing you do is click sell your seeds. You sell the seeds, you let the contract populate, and then it'll pop up in your box there to plant. At that point, you plant them, you replant them, same seeds into the garden. You should get a little bit of an increase. Now, for my legends, double tap, take a bow, we do what we call super compounding. First thing you want to do is go to your garden. You click sell your seeds. So you sell your seeds. Then you can add a dime, a penny, whatever is in your budget of fresh capital through the JIP liberation to purchase a little bit of more LPs. You will see in the scenario, I did the exact same thing. But what I did, I purchased just one extra LP. And you, you're going to see what a difference it makes. So again, so with super compounding like the legends do, we go to the garden, we click sell. It sells our seeds that we have there and it populates up in there for us to get ready to replant. Then we go out to drip liberation and like I said in the scenario, I just added one extra LP. So that's two dollars. It's only two dollars, a dollar ninety seven cent that added an extra LP. Then so now I have that extra LP It's sitting in there with the other LPs that I have earned since the last day I, I compounded. And it's all going to be added together. And then you're going to last thing you're going to do is plant. So it's the super compounding is the comp regular compounding plus the hopper compounding it, it, and the fresh capital into the garden you're going to see what it does now let's hit it um, is to show a example of the three different compound options we have number one is just a regular everyday come in to your garden and just plant the seeds that you've accumulated over that certain time frame. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and make it 2.1 to even it between the, uh, the other wallets you'll see. All right, so I'm just gonna put in the 0.035. That'll make this round to 2.1. So let's go, are oh, they gonna make me, I have to do at least that much point. Let's see, I'm with point 0.035. Is it zero three five? Yep, 
0.0. All right, so we're going to go with that. So when I click buy, it's going to take the 0 0.035 plus the 2.065, put it together, it'll be 2.1. Let's do this. And then we're going to examine where we started at. There and acknowledge. Okay. Here. All right, so that's one wallet down. So that's just a regular everyday compound. I just wanted to try and even the same amount, 2.1 going to each of the wallets, except for the super compound, which is going to be the regular 2.1 plus one additional LP. Okay, so we're at 3.3. That takes care of the first, the, first, <laughs> the first wallet. So now we're going to go to the second wallet. Now in the second wallet, this would be what we call hyper compounding here. Okay. Seeing we got 2.9 here. So what I'm going to do, I would normally sell all of them. But since we're doing this for the sake of simplicity and here. Okay. So we're going to sell. But I'm only going to put back 2.1 to make it match. And what I did, I used the larger wallet of the three as the regular one to see what was going to happen okay so we're just waiting for that to go through okay so it went through so now we're going to do 2.1 they're all about the same this is 20 22 2 billion 900 thousand so they were pretty close so let's do 2.1 and it's going to get this. So now it's going to take 2.1, put it in there, and acknowledge. So we're going to see how this works. And accept. Okay, so now that one's done. So this should be like 3.1. Give it. All right, we're just waiting for it to go through. And then I'll do a snapshot and then we can compare the before and afters. 3.186. Okay. Now we're going to go to the third wallet. 304 here. Now this one is the smaller of the three. So with this one, I'm going to do 2.1 plus. I'm going to have to get a little bit more because I want to do 3.1. So it'll be actually one extra. So go here. Let's get the calculator out. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, let's get the calculator out. So I have 2.89. So I need to have 3.1 going in. Minus 2.899. So I need 0.2 of a LP. So here, let's do three. Is that going to be 0.3? Oh. So 0 0.003 and supply. So 0.3. That's close enough because then we'll just go ahead and use what I need to use. I know I need to use 0.2. And confirm. Process. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to use point, excuse me, 3.1. Okay, go ahead there. Okay, now back here. So what I'm going to go do, hit and do is, of course, we would normally sell. Okay. Got it. So now, once that comes through, we're going to add in 3.1. Okay, so now we're going to do max. Nope, we're going to do 3.1. So technically it's the same 2.1 as the other wallets plus one additional LP, which is makes it the super compound. Now, in reference to making it a super compound, you can do $1, you can do a quarter, <laughs> it's whatever amount you have in your budget to do. And then how often you do it. You could do it every day when you come in and um, compound. You can do it once a week, whatever formula or whatever strategy you want to use. I'm just using it for an example to show the difference between the three. 
Okay, so now this, this is the, and this was the smallest of the three, as you saw. However, I'm doing 3.1 again because I have the 2.1 coming from here and bought one additional LP. And buy. And click. Okay. So as we see, 2.89. Now, if this goes past 3.1, being especially the fact that it was the smallest, yes. Okay. Case closed. Okay. And we're good there. So now I'm going to stop the video here and we're going to do the comparison between the two. Let's go. Bam. Here is the results from the video because I couldn't show them in the video because it was just too much. So you saw what I did in the video. Here's the results. We're just going to look at the hyper compound. We're not going to go through all this because the video is going to get too long. So hyper compounding before I did anything, I had these are the plants, the number of LPs. I once I hit sell, it took the 2.94 LPs and sold sold them and put them into our box up at the top in order to replant. So then I said, okay, well, let me add one more LP. So as you saw in the video, each of the three gardens that we did the scenarios with all went with 2.1 LP, except for the hyper compounded because I added that one extra LP. Due to the fact of me adding that one extra LP, I went from two point well, two two billion nine hundred thirty million six hundred thirty five thousand plants to three point one eight six plants. Oops, I'm on the wrong one. <laughs> Some of super compounding. Yeah, I went from. I'm sorry. I went from two point eight nine billion to three point two billion with just adding that extra bit of fresh capital now don't get twisted because remember compounding started at 3.1 so it was a little bit so it looks a little bit off and then it only went to 3.3 this one went from the super compound went from 2.898 to 3.276 because of that super compounding of just and that smidgen of a new fresh capital but wait, there's more. Now, as you saw in the video, these are these are the differences. When you do the subtraction, you can sit there and subtract them and count them for yourself. Trust but verify. <coughs> Excuse me. These numbers get me all choked up. As you can see with the super compounding, we received 377 million plants. Now, for the legends, this is you can see that Supercell 707X information. What I'm going to do going forward is do that super compounding the day after I claim. Because you figure the day after you claim, you've drawn down your wallet a little bit. So what you want to do, so we'll just use Garden 1. Here it is Monday. I come in. I'm going, today's the claim day for garden. I come in, I claim it, and that's it, and I move on. Now, on Tuesday, when I get to garden one, that's the day I'm going to super compound. That's the day I'm going to go in and say, okay, I'm going to take whatever LPs I gained overnight and add in one LP, one dollar, whatever my budget is saying at the time. More than likely, it'll be a minimum, at least one more LP. So especially with the price of the LPs now. So that's what I would do. So Tuesday morning, I come in, hit sell. No. Yeah. Now I'm still going to hyper compound on Tuesday, but I'm going to do the super compound. I'm getting me myself confused here. So on Monday, I'll come in and I claim I'll sell my seeds or harvest. Tuesday, I'll come in to wallet number one and I'm going to super compound. I'm going to do the hyper compound because I'm, I'm saying that I had that right because I'm, I'm going to hit sell and sell 
the LPs that I have there so they pop up into my plant box for me to replant. Then I'm going to go over to the liberation, purchase whatever I'm going to purchase right now. And once it's a scenario, I'm going to purchase at least an additional one more LP. Once it's there and it's loaded into the box to get replanted, I'm going to hit plant. It's going to plant all those in there and boost my garden up again like a rocket. And that's the scenario. All right. That was the results. Now, whew, decay, decay, decay. We all know that the drip is a game. I said it again. To win, you have to hydrate more than the rest of the players. The natural decay is built into the game. Everybody can't win. It's, the game would not last long if there was no decay in there. And the decay maintains a fair playing field for the new players. New players can get more plants due to the time bonus. The 3%, supposed to be 3%, daily will and can adjust the daily depending on the other players involvement in the game if everyone takes rewards instead of hydrating then the rewards are decreased hands down is still the best miner in crypto you were betting on the price of drip to increase that's why you're in there so that's what you have to remember now some more compounding is key profit factor number one is the price of drip in the BUSDLP. Like I said, right now, at the time of making this video, it's $1.97. They were high as $35 plus dollars per LP before. Profit factor number two is the seed price because the plant's value is non-existent. Outpace the decay as you grow your garden. So if you're just coming in today, it's hard to fight the decay on a new wallet unless you're going to add new funds and compound more often. Now, if you're older and you have some um, older gardens, it's easier to fight by just compounding and compounding a little bit more often. And please remember, it's 2,592,000 seeds make one plant. One plant makes 86,000 seeds per day. So one plant will make another plant in 30 days. If the contract balance doesn't increase, then the value of the plants will decrease. The drip USD LP, if the price increases, so does the contract balance. The more you harvest, the less seeds you will plant. Oh, wait a minute. The more you harvest, the less seeds you have the plant that will produce you more seeds. So, so that's what I'm saying. You got to remember it's a game. And if you have an, ha an equal amount of hydrates versus compound, you won't be penalized. But legends, we don't operate like that. That's why we went the multi-strategy. Out of the six days, we let the other people do two and five, five, three and four, whatever they want. The legends, we go in six and one. Now, this is not financial advice. I'm just going with the scenario that we had in here. Okay. Now, final notes. Yes, you can have one large wallet instead of seven individual wallets flexibility so legends you already know it's all about flexibility and it's always about options options exactly i heard you say it you can allow for certain ones to grow untouched you can just have one sitting over there especially when drip is at 32 cent you say i'm going to hydrate this until drip hits a dollar and just and just compound 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 and then you can start doing it next flexibility you have more than one option to choose from with your claim and hydrate cycle even though you, you have to remember that it's a game you get to decide like i said six and one three and four five and two whatever claim hydrate you're going to go with you can designate each garden for a different purpose we've already seen that scenario when i did it with the drip wallets same with the faucets same thing and then you can truly test the compounding frequency. Well, on the garden one, I'm only going to compound once a day. Garden two, I'm going to do twice a day. Garden three, I'm going to do three times a day and see how that works out for you too. And again, with the last flexibility, if you need the funds, you can drain one wallet all the way down and still have others left to continue to provide your passive income. You cannot do that if you only have one wallet because it only, I think it, you only get almost 60 days out as you drain it down, if you get that much. But the biggest flex is that each garden can be used to feed the other six protocols in the ecosystem, which is the faucet, the pig pen, 
the farms, what we used to have the, the used to have the pools, the dog pound, the pig pen. It's that's how you got to do it. Mm. Okay, and like always, do what's always best for you, your family, and your family's finances. You gotta. This is your mindset, your strategy, your system, your goal, your legacy. Out brief. Whew, that was a long one there. Now we know exactly what type of the protocol the drip garden is. We went over the tokenomics. We went over the nomenclature of the new drip garden. We went over some strategies, the COPs of the Circles of Prosperity. If, Like I say, if you don't know, you need to check out the Mission Possible videos on the COPs. We went over some notes. We looked at the legend. Then we discussed some wallet scenarios. Then we talked about having a multi wallet strategy versus the solo or just you know what l7 i don't want to be in the garden then don't get in the garden then we talked about compounding we talked about regular compounding which is just planting your seeds we talked about the hyper compounding which the majority of the community does and then we talked about the super compounding which is what the legends do then we went over the final notes and as always, please remember, this is for informational and educational purposes only. Never intended as any type of financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor. I'm here just providing some edutainment for the legends. That's it. No more, no less. And I have to add into this one, the, always remember the three. Number one, crypto is an individual endeavor. You have to do what's best for you, your family, and your family's finances. Number two, we have the best community in all of crypto, 150,000 members strong. And to top that off, we have the best developer and the best development team led by the mastermind Forex Shark. And of course, number three, increasing your knowledge to reduce your risk. And I see that you are legendary because you be acting legendarily by sitting here and watching and listening to the video to increase your knowledge and to reduce your risk and to help you win at this crypto game. Now, all I ask is that you please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now you you increase your security level up to top secret now because you are fully engaged. And again, the garden is a game. Don't you forget. You got seven seconds. The video will self-destruct. Legends, engage. <laughs>